So when we talk about alternatives to Amazon, you know, what, what's out there? So there's tons of different networks out there. I've got kind of, you know, um, five or six of the, the, the ones that I worked with quite closely on the, on the right-hand side. Um, so you've got um, Awin in the UK is, is my personal favorite, one of the biggest ones. Um, they also own Share a Sale, which is the US kind of branch of that. Um, you've got people like CJ, um, Rakuten, Trade Doublet, Impact, all quite big ones. There are some smaller ones out there, and it is kind of just looking at which brands are with which network. So which brands make sense to your niche and which networks they're on. You get some brands that are tied in exclusively with one network, others that are across multiple. So, you, you know, you don't have to sign up for all of the networks, but being signed up to a couple of them at least is a good shout. And certain networks tend to have more brands in certain niches. So it's always best to kind of sign up to a few, but you'll find in the industry brands cycle quite a lot. And it seems, you know, one minute, for example, Awin might have a lot of the, the food brands, but then a lot of, you know, the big food brands migrate over to Trade Doubler and then all the other food brands see that and they migrate over as well. And it just kind of goes in cycles. So they're, it's a really competitive industry actually getting brands signed up to these networks. And so they are always switching. Um, so it's worth just kind of being aware of that and knowing that you might have to switch to another network if you, your main money driving brands switch. Um, you do have some brands that have their own individual affiliate programs, um, you know, where they're not tied to a specific network, you know, they just kind of set it up themselves and they kind of have like an affiliates at email address for um, their brand. Um, and surprisingly, some of the big brands do that as well as some of the smaller companies. And you could also use something like skim links. So if you can't get onto the networks or the programs initially, skim links is basically kind of like an aggregator for these sorts of things. And it's a bit easier to kind of apply for those because you might get turned away by the networks for whatever reason, kind of similar to display ads. They've got reasoning that never seems to make sense, but you might kind of get rejected initially. Skim links gives you access to those brands. Um, and so you might do six months of skim links with, with some of those brands and then reapply for them through the networks and get accepted because you can kind of say, look, you know, we've been driving revenue through skim links. Let's do a direct deal and we'll both be better off financially from it. So the benefits for, for kind of this sort of affiliate marketing, obviously it can be more time intensive, but the big benefit is it's much more rewarding. You know, the sort of levels of commission that you get are a lot higher. Um, it allows you to kind of focus on products that are hyper relevant to your audience rather than kind of a bit more of a free for all. And it means there's less need for loads of affiliate content to get that decent amount of revenue. So, you know, a lot of the, the kind of, um, product review updates and things like that over the last 12, 18 months have kind of targeted affiliate content. And so um, as an agency at Niche, we recommend doing kind of 90% informational, 10% affiliate content on your site. But if you can make that 10% affiliate content more relevant to your audience with products that they really want to purchase with discounts, you're making the most of that 10% that you can. Um, and it's just, again, an additional revenue stream for your site, you know, um, yeah, so it's kind of like extra revenue as opposed to just display ads or just Amazon affiliates. You know, you've, if you've got all these different networks, you've got multiple revenue streams. So if one kind of goes belly up, you've kind of got these other ones to rely on.